Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be checking out GNOME 40. That's right, I didn't say GNOME 4, it's GNOME 40. They went straight from 3 to 40, but who cares because it looks pretty good in my opinion. As you see here in the preview, things have changed up a little bit. I'll first start off by saying if you're a fan of GNOME in the first place, you'll probably be a fan of this new version of GNOME with some subtle changes but necessary in order to make it more laptop and mobile friendly. The very first thing we'll notice is if you go to the activities bar, we've switched up where the location of the dock is. Instead of being on the left hand side, it's moved down to the bottom with rounded edges. It looks elegant, looks more Mac OS like, but of course it's gonna throw some users off that are used to the dock being on the left hand side. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. We'll continue on by checking out what's here in the middle. This is a preview of the current workspace that's being worked on. If you notice to the right hand side, we do have another preview. If we wanna switch between those two, you simply use your scroll bar if you're using a normal mouse, or you can swipe across in order to get to the other workstation. On the top, we have our search bar, and if you start typing away, it looks much the same as it did in the previous version of GNOME. Not much has changed there from what I can tell. Also, if we hit escape and go back to the main activity screen here, we can launch something like Rhythmbox real quick, and let's launch another application. Just to kind of see things here, I'll launch a file manager, as well as the calendar. The calendar came out full screen here, but let's uh, minimize that, kind of get a good look and feel for the theming here. It's very basic here, and at least this version of GNOME, which I'm testing it out on the latest beta Fedora release. I had some trouble getting GNOME OS working on my physical computer, but Fedora worked out great, and they have GNOME 40 available for us, so I thought it was a great place to start looking at GNOME 40. With these windows that I have open, we can see that we have rounded edges. Much of the icon sets look exactly the same as they did in 3. Can't say that there's too many changes there, but maybe they've tweaked this just a little bit here and there to make it look a little more modern, as they're always trying to do. What I'm more interested in is if some of the same functionalities work as they did before. If I go up to Activities, and now I can see how my various different running programs are laid out on the workspace screen. Can I move these around? So I should be able to move this between workspaces. So if I try moving it over here, uh, yeah, it looks like it went right over so I can move multiple applications. And now I see here in the middle, ever so slightly, some more previews of the various different workspaces that I have open. Again, a very mobile friendly and laptop friendly design. If you're using a laptop, a trackpad's great because you can just swipe on your trackpad in order to get across these various workstations and it really interacts well with many places here. So for my example, if I just use my mouse wheel, I can get across the various different workstations that are available. We can see now that the two programs I move the calendar and the file manager are on the second workstation. Every time I create a new workstation or move things around between workstations, if a new one is needed, it automatically creates one for you. Let's say I wanted to move these back to the main one. Well, I can by doing it that way, just moving it to the left, or I can even move it up to the top here, I believe, between workstations, so now I've moved it over. I can even take the little tiny version of the program in the workstation and move it all over. Notice how it automatically exits out of all the workstations that we don't need, that have nothing on them, and only keeps one at a preview at all times. The functionality here is pretty seamless in my opinion. It looks great so far. Before we move on though, make sure to smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. All right, moving back to the main workstation here. Let's go underneath where we can see our pinned applications here in the dock. We have Firefox, the calendar, Rhythmbox, Photos, and the file manager. Now the next step would be to hit the show applications. Let's see how this has been redone. As you might remember, that was in the far corner. You could click a very similar icon and things would come popping into the right hand side. Anyone using Ubuntu or older releases of Fedora would have had some GNOME 3 version, which would have had that option. If we click on show applications now, we still have our workspaces right up top. You can go between them again by swiping or using the scroll wheel on your mouse. 
If you click on one of them, it'll load directly into it, but that's not what we're interested in. Instead, the applications are using more of the horizontal space here in GNOME 40. Let's make sure they can do the same stuff that they did in GNOME 3. So in some version of GNOME 3, they released the ability to stack programs together. So it looks like we can inside of a folder here. That works just fine, normal. Also, something fairly new was that you can move these icons around. We can still do the same in here. And if we want, we can, of course, rename our folder and move things out as necessary as well. One thing that I've noticed too is at the bottom it shows you little dots just like in the previous one which allows you to use multiple pages or on a laptop you can again swipe or you can use the mouse scroll as well. So a lot of the time the mouse scroll is going to act as a swiping motion in these gestures so make sure to use that mouse wheel in order to make things a little easier on yourself. Overall I think the applications overhaul page looks great in my opinion. Some users are going to love this GNOME 40 and some are probably going to hate it. If you don't like the mobile friendly and laptop friendly operating systems that are getting further and further away from how original desktops were set up, aka not so mobile friendly, then you're probably not going to like all the extra mobile support that's been added. But it seems to be the future, so I won't be surprised that more and more desktop environments as well as operating systems are going to go this route. Very good, and if we want to move a program over to another workstation, we can do that as well. Interestingly enough, when I drag something, it also moved the middle page as well. I don't know if that's a problem in GNOME 40 itself. That seems to be a that seems to be a little bit of a bug in my opinion. It shouldn't scroll over if you're doing that type of move, but I think it's because you can also scroll through by clicking down and just holding the mouse while moving things around, but maybe there needs to be a little bit more smarts there in order to capture what you're exactly doing. Are you moving applications around or are you actually scrolling through the middle here? I'll put things back in the very first workspace and continue on. The dock below, you can of course pin stuff to. It's very easy to do, just drag and drop things in. They're also disappearing. Let's see how much we can add in here just to see what that looks like and maybe even can we add a folder? No, it doesn't look like we can add a folder as a pinned deal, but let's keep adding to the dock. Let's see what happens whenever there, there is a dock overflow. We'll keep them going. We're almost there. Very interested if the dock gets smaller or if it stays about the same. While we're doing this, uh, make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already and it looks like it gets smaller. Very good. I like that because um, I'm just about to use every application available in here, which is hilarious, but there you go. It gets even smaller. And it looks pretty good. Uh, it's not persistent, of course, so it doesn't really clutter the screen. Only when you open up activity Activities or use your applications will you see anything at the bottom as it has been across many known versions. We'll add this very last program in here as well. And now we're pretty cleaned up. We got just about nothing left on our middle section here. Let's continue on looking through stuff. Another mention I'll make is if you want to scroll between workspaces without actually having to go through activities, you can by hitting the super key and then using the mouse scroll that will lead you between the two various workstations. In the middle, we have the current date and time with a little calendar, some events that are going on today. Clearly, we have none in our calendar. You have the current playback up here, which you can pause, move forward, or go backwards with, and everything seems a little more rounded. It looks very similar to what we've seen in, other, in previous GNOME versions. We'll keep going over to the right-hand side, and this section looks practically the same as before. Maybe they just rounded off the edges a little bit, but as far as I can tell, things are very similar. We'll hit the settings and check out settings real quick as well. Again, nothing too special here in settings. I'm looking through and we have various different categories under the settings. Doesn't seem like anything new. If anything, they might have reordered things a little bit here in GNOME 40, but honestly, that's pretty hard to tell. What are your thoughts on GNOME 40? Let me know in the comments section below. Again, for me, if you're an avid GNOME user, you're probably going to like this new GNOME version, especially if you like using GNOME desktop on a laptop. It's going to make things a little easier on you because of the various different gesture support. For me, a desktop user and using GNOME quite often, they're small changes but make a pretty big difference. Things seem cleaner, smoother to use, 
and I'm looking forward to being able to use this new GNOME version available to us in various Linux distributions as they come rolling out this new updated desktop environment. Well, that's about it. I just wanted to go through things fairly quickly here. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me and a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.